Okay, so let's start with friction. So friction, we have two uh, formulas for this. We have the maximum static friction, that is um, mu s times the normal force, and the kinetic frictional force, this is mu k times the normal force. So as you can see, ang nagkaiba lang sa kanila is the mu. Okay, so this one, this is the maximum available friction between two in contact surfaces that the body won't move. So take note that this is not the actual frictional force. This is just the frictional boundary of impending body, impending motion body. Okay, so this one, this is the actual frictional resistance when the body is in motion or, this, or simply the body is moving. Okay, so let's try to have an example to be clear. Okay, so we have this block that is loaded with P um, inclined at angle 30 degrees with the horizontal and we have this also the weight and we have the kinetic and the static friction coefficients okay so if this is the question if P is uh, 50 newtons what is the frictional force between the plane and the block okay so free body diagram so of course we have the normal reaction here and we have this frictional force dito and that friction should oppose the probable movement movement of the body that one okay so <clears throat> this is the horizontal component of p and that is the vertical component of b and first we will compute the actual i mean the av available friction maximum available friction para hindi mag move yung ating body so that is mu s times the normal reaction so in this case that n here is an f so i just um, put a subscript dito para hindi tayo malito sa units dito okay naka newtons so by that uh, we should calculate our nf so nf here is very clear that nf should be 100 plus p sine of 30 okay p is 50 50 newtons so we have nf 125 and our available friction maximum available friction is 62.5 newtons okay now um, how do we calculate the actual friction that is just by equating forces, summation of forces, along the movement, possible movement of the body. So in this case, that should be friction is equals to P cosine of 30. Okay? That one. F should be P cosine of 30. And that is 43.3 newtons. Now, we will investigate if this body will move or not. So in this case, as you can see, this actual friction did not exceed the maximum available friction here. That means ito yung actual friction dito. Okay? Okay, so palakihan natin yung force dyan. What if gawin natin siyang 100 newtons? What is the frictional force between the plane and the block? Okay, the same uh, drill. That one. Maximum friction. And in this case, our NF is 100 plus 100 sine of 30. And we have our NF here, 150. Now, our maximum available friction is 75 newtons. Now, we will compute the actual frictional resistance. That is by summation of forces horizontal. And here, our friction should be 100 cosine of 30. Now, that is 86.6 newtons. Now, as you can see, by investigating this, that exceeds the maximum available friction that the body won't move. Meaning, lumagpas siya, yung body natin will be moving na. Okay, by this, we will not use this as our actual friction. Gagamitin natin actual frictional resistance in motion. Because as you can see here, lumagpas na siya yung friction natin sa ating maximum available friction. Therefore, the actual resistance or actual frictional resistance in motion that will be mu k times the new, uh, normal um, reaction. And that is 0.3, or mu k is 0.3. Then the normal reaction is 150, and that one. Ito yung actual friction natin. Okay? Claro? Okay, so, what if yung pinapahanap, and by the way, ito yun. Um, I have here an animation. If this is the friction, and this is the force na magpapaslide sa kanya or magpapamove. Okay, let's um, substitute that. That is 100 cosine of 30. Ito yung 45. Now, they will have a net force. Of course, mas malaki yung magpapamove sa kanya. And it will be like this, 41.6 newtons. 
Uh, but in this case, ito yung force, not force na magpapamove sa ating body. Okay. What if yung pinapahanap is value of P that will cause the black impends to move? So, impends to move. Therefore, isasagad natin yung maximum available friction. Gagamitin natin siya. But because at that times the body will be in the merge of moving naman. Okay, so, maximum available friction. Ang goal natin dito is to calculate the P. Max, uh, available P, minimum P. So, F max is mu S times Newton. Times the normal reaction. Okay, so, take note by equating equilibrium, and F is just equals to 100 plus P sine of 30. So, in terms of P tayo, since P yung pinapahana. Um, next, F max is mu S times 0.5 times P, si I mean times ni and F, 100 plus P sine of 30. Okay, so, yung F max natin is expressed into P. Now, we will equate horizontal forces para makuha natin yung P. Of course, that is F is equals to P cosine of 30. But take note, our F is in terms of that one. Gagamitin natin yung maximum available friction. Okay? Because in the problem, sinasagad natin to impedance to move naman. And here we calculated our P. Okay? And I have here another solution. Okay, so, ang gagawin natin dito is we will um, use the resultant forces. Okay, so take note that this NF and the friction will have a resultant force dito. Okay, ito yung resultant force between two components of this reaction. Okay, so we have this angle here. That is angle of phi. Okay, and that angle of phi can be calculated by this. Tangent of phi is equal to mu s lang. Okay, this is the angle of shearing resistance. Okay, and take note that this phi will always be with the normal reaction. Okay, so please take note of that. All, uh, angle phi will always be with the normal reaction. And we can calculate that phi. That is 26.565. Okay, so again, we will only use the resultant forces. So as we can see, we only have three forces here. So mas madaling gamitin yung force polygon dito. Okay, so unahin natin ito. 100 newtons, newtons vertical. And we have this R. And that is with angle phi with the vertical data. In that case. Okay. And we have this P. And that is 30 degrees with the horizontal. Ayun. Okay. If this is 30 degrees, uh, take note that this is 90 degrees data. So, this will become a total of 120 degrees. Okay. So, ang matitirang angle dito, that should be 180 minus 120 minus 26.565 degrees. Okay, that is the sum of interior angle of a triangle, 180 degrees. Now, we can calculate P by sine law. P over the sine of the opposite angle is equal to 100 newtons over the sine of this opposite angle. And we have the value P. Okay, the same lang. Okay, so let's have a board exam problem. To prevent the 500 newtons ladder from sliding, a worker exerts a horizontal force at C. Okay, ito lang yun. So, for number one, assuming all surfaces are frictionless, calculate the required force F dito. Para hindi mag-slide yung ating um, ladder. Okay. So, first, we'll draw the free body diagram. So, if these um, contact surfaces are frictionless, okay, so ito yung weight natin that should uh, um, act at this centroid. Okay, so we have the normal reaction at A and we have the normal reaction at B. So, assuming all forces are frictionless man, so calculate the required F. So, if we do summation of forces horizontal, it is very clear that our F is equal to NB. Okay? Now, if I will do summation of moment about A, okay, so needed natin yung mga uh, moment arms. So, this one, take note, if we will consider this right triangle dito, that should be the hypotenuse sine of 30. Or basically, that is just 6, uh, this one, 6 cosine of 30. Nasa kanya yung angle. Or that is the adjacent. Okay? 
and this one that is 6 sine of 30 that is 3 meters and also we will be needing this one that is just 1.5 sine of 30 0.75 and this one is at a distance half of this okay take note that is the weight that should be at the centroid okay so by summation of moment about a and that is f okay i will do clockwise positive counterclockwise negative f times 0.75 plus 500 times this distance 2.598 then this one will create counterclockwise nb times 3 and ito yun take note that nb is equals to f so i substitute ko lang and we have the value of f okay now for number 2 assuming all surfaces paren are frictionless calculate the reaction at a so it is very clear if we do summation of mo uh, forces vertical NA is just equals to the weight. Walang ibang vertical force dito. And that is the answer. Napakahirap. Okay, so let's move on for number 3 or part 3. So, if M, M, uh, mu A is 0.3 and mu B is 0.2, so we have frictions na dito. I'll calculate the maximum weight of the ladder exert a force. If demand exerts a force F yan, 200 newtons, that one. Okay, so yung pinapahanap dito is yung W na. So, hindi na ito 500 newtons dito. Okay, ito na yung unknown. So, first of all, we need to know the probable motion of our body. Okay, so since yung F natin is just um, resisting or kumbaga nag-prevent lang siya to move this body or to slide this body down. So, yung probable motion natin in this way will be like this. Okay, so bucket essential natin tong malaman yung probable motion. That is to know the um, direction of the friction. Okay, because if magkamali tayo sa direction of friction, magkakamali tayo sa answer. Okay, so take note that this is the friction at A. FA is you to mu A times NA. And ito yung friction at B. Dapat opposing sila sa uh, motion. That is mu B times NB. Okay. So, this is just the resultant reaction here. So, never mind of this muna. Okay. Uh, just focus on this FA and A, then FB and MB. Okay. So, F is 200 newtons. Ito yung pinapahanap natin. So, again, equilibrium equations lang talaga yung panlaban natin dito. Summation of forces, vertical muna tayo. And that will be NA. Um, plus 0.2 of NB, this is just the FB, minus W. So, take note that we have three unknowns. Therefore, we should create three equations. And dito natin magagamit lahat ng equilibrium equation. Summation of forces horizontal naman. That should be that one, mu A, N A, um, plus 200 minus NB, and I will rearrange into ganito. Okay? Now, I will do summation of moment. It can be here, at A, it can be at this B, or it can be anywhere. Pwede dito sa point of intersection ng these two forces. But gagawin ko na lang summation of moment about A para hindi kayo malito. Okay? So summation of moment about A. So here, um, unahin ko itong 200 newtons. 200 times 0.75, clockwise moment, plus W times 2.598. Um, this NB will cause counterclockwise. NB times 3, then minus that one, point two of NB, the friction, times the moment arm, 5.196. And again, I will rearrange into this one. And we have three equations, three unknowns. So you, so you can use your calculator na dito. Okay, so in your calculator, take note at the equation 1, uh, completo, andyan lahat yung unknowns. In equation 2, walang W. So sa calculator nyo, Zero yung ilalagay nyo. In this um, equation, wala yung NA. So, sa calculator, zero yung ilalagay nyo sa NA. Okay, so, ito yung magiging answers natin. And ito yung pinapahanap dito. Okay? So, by the way, hindi tinatanong dito if ano yung resultant reaction at A and resultant reaction at B. If in case, if pinapahanap sa problem, then the resultant reaction at A should be that one. 
the resultant of these two forces or square root of the friction squared plus Na squared. Similarly, sabiren. Okay? So that one.